Hello, Baroque to Modern Art History students. Here we are, February 2021. Let's look at the calendar. We're on Monday, February 8th, looking to wrap up our module that focuses on the methods of art history with your culminating assignment that puts together the various components that you've been learning about and your methods quiz. But I want to also look ahead to next week where you're going to be turning this is your pivot point from the introductory module on art history's methods to your first historical period. And you need to be prepared to dive into that period and watch a film that you'll be discussing on Monday the 15th. So everything that you've been learning about in the How to Think Like an Art Historian module, you're going to be using. But you're going to also be learning very specifically about the historical period that is the 17th century. And your entire class is laid out with each module representing a particular period in time. So this is an art history survey course. And your job is to survey the changes that happen from this point in time, the 17th century, until the 20th century. And so the period we begin is called Early Modern Europe. And you're going to learn in this module page about some of the conditions that lead to what is considered the beginning of the modern age. You have to think about a number of regions, Italy, Spain, the Dutch Republic, and France. So think of this module as a chapter with subchapters that you're going to be thinking about geographically to understand this comprehensive time period. You're also going to be learning about a period style that's called the Baroque. And that happens across the various regions. So if you look at the module pages, I've used all caps for the major geographic centers. And you'll notice that Italy is going to be the birthplace of the Baroque. So you spend a lot of time there because this is an important epicenter of innovation. The art's amazing. So you're going to take time looking at the at different kinds of art and you will, where did I, where did it go? You will be bringing that together in a discussion that focuses on two major artists. Keep in mind that this discussion asks you to respond to a film that you watch about Caravaggio. This film is brilliant. It's so well done. I think you will find it to be one of the most exciting multimedia experiences that you have in the class. It's an hour long, so you need to plan accordingly because you need to read your textbook seven paragraphs and also a lot time to watch the film carefully, to read it, if you will, as if it were a text that you need to learn, because it is. So Italy is such an important center for artistic innovation that you get your own quiz on just that region of 17th century art. And then you move to Spain and Northern Europe. Keep in mind as you move here that you're going to be watching another film by the same brilliant art historian, Simon Schama, this time about Rembrandt and writing about that. So in this case, you also need to allot enough time to watch that film plus a second film on Vermeer. So I'm just giving you the heads up that you've got three feature length films that are very well done, well worth your time, and they're central to your learning and your discussions, as well as to your quizzes, because the module culminates with a quiz covering Spanish, Flemish, and Dutch art. So that's a kind of a, an overview of how this module is laid out and how you need to budget your time effectively. So let's go back to the calendar. You've got your discussion on the 15th. You've got your quiz on Baroque art in Italy on the 17th. And then very quickly, you will be responding to the two other films on the great artists Rembrandt and Vermeer. And you'll be doing your quiz on 17th century Spanish, Flemish, and Dutch art.